hey what's up guys wise tips here and today we're going to be going over the titan behemoth stasis subclass now normally i have some b-roll of destiny footage but today i don't have any of that i didn't feel like recording it i'll be 100 percent honest with you guys um but we're gonna just go over it camera in the side we're gonna be like real streamers up in here you know what i mean the stasis spotlight titan behemoth so crash like an avalanche behemoths are high offense and high defense creating solid stasis crystals to provide cover or platforms from which to leap during their super behemoths can jump higher faster and farther with unlimited melee energy and high damage mitigation Ooh. Ooh. can i get an amen for my titan mains we got the we got the glacial quake behemoths compile stasis energy to attach their body covering themselves in the frozen darkness forming a stasis gauntlet on one hand increasing their damage resistance in the process god damn as if they didn't have enough damage mitigation come on uh shiver strike the behemoth summons a stasis gauntlet and lunges forward with an ex with explosive speed smashing through anything in their way upon reaching their target they unleash a devastating jab that sends their foe careening backwards while slowing nearby enemies what so is this a shoulder charge that basically will kill them and slow everybody else around all right we'll have to we'll have to see how that plays out in uh pvp um ground control the behemoth slams their gauntlet into the ground sending out tremors of powerful stasis energy that leaves crystals in their wake and freezes all enemies in the vicinity that's the super this is the melee my god okay so titan smash also they punch good stuff <laughs> they go hand in hand um when beyond light re is released this november guardians who prefer the titan class will discover a new subset of stasis powers that allows them to harness the power of darkness and yes fisticuffs will be part of it give a nice little picture here the hunter revenant is a specialist at slowing the action down the titan behemoth uses stasis as a means of both creation and destruction with the behemoth we wanted to put an emphasis on the ability to use stasis to create crystals that can alter the battle by changing the ground the very ground beneath your feet control the ground control the flight or fight sorry as a result the behemoth can use their stasis ability defensively such as creating crystalline walls to block enemies and gunfire so like may from overwatch or offensively you can use crystals to freeze enemies the titan behemoth can unleash a unleash a powerful melee attack known as shiver strike here the titan lunges forward launched by a stasis explosion at their feet to propel them towards an enemy while in midair they summon a stasis gauntlet that covers their fists and slams in the foe sending them careening backwards and slowing enemies so then you can see it here him charging up to hit the uh good old warden there or servitor whatever you want whatever that is with greatly increased melee attacks yep 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 sign me up I'm a Titan main now, boys. We were we were Hunter. Well, I don't know. We'll have to wait till we see the Hunters, but whew. Titans, they got me right now. Running amok in a crowd of bad guys and shattering them like a perfect 10 pin strike is a fine strategy, but there's just a degree of subtlety that you, um, that's there too, if you want it. For example, you can cancel out of slide into a massive stasis power leap, only to cancel that just at the right moment and direct the behemoth downward into a devastating slam so punch if you must but know that stasis has plenty more to offer you titan and then they show just like the other one so we've got tectonic harvest a petrified grip grasping for something once held but now lost your hands create power power from nothing shattering a stasis crystal creates stasis shards these shards grant melee energy when picked up by you or your allies okay so really driving it home with the punches um and then here's a fragment slow from your abilities last longer for for those abilities that linger their duration will also increase at plus 10 strength and then they go they say next week um they're gonna do the third and final subclass the hunter revenant how do you make her how do you make the quickest class even more deadly by slowing down everything around them that's how okay so it's gonna be like another tether hopefully not but anyways um they also have this week at bungie so we're gonna go over that a little bit here too they talk about all the triumphs in the next season they show a new format 
for the triumphs page which looks pretty sleek in my opinion i like it triumphs that are going away with the sun sun setting and then ones that you can still earn are they include unbroken dredgen flawless conquer harborer enlightened first breaker riven's bane and then they've got three more redacted ones coming out uh moved to legacy and beyond light and no longer earnable shadow reckoner blacksmith wayfarer chronicler and then season five through season 11 titles are also being retired so those will become legacy because you can no longer get them what were you saying about metals catalyst and lore moving metals and catalysts will now have their own section to make them more visible and easier to keep track of um so i mean like they, they said before they're making the catalysts you're gonna be able to get them eventually um next week they got iron banner bonus valor yada 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 same guns if you guys still did not get a good forward path which i didn't but i also didn't play iron banner because i'm just I'm, I'm telling you what guys this dlc can't come any sooner i'm getting very burned out of destiny but that's okay because you can play other things and that is a-okay anyways uh that's gonna be about it guys uh that's the titan behemoth we've got the uh revenant next week um they showed uh redesign of the triumphs page um hopefully you guys found this interesting uh the little walkthrough i'm sorry i didn't normally have my gameplay but this i feel like this will do too hopefully you guys learned something and if you did drop me a like sub to the channel and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye